let's return to the word unlockable. As we said a couple of videos ago, this word has two possible meanings. This can either mean something that I am unable to lock or something that I am able to unlock. An approach of simply dividing this into morphemes, unlock and able, does not explain the two different meanings. However, if we use a tree structure, we can, at a glance, see the different meanings. This first tree starts with the verb lock and adds the affix able, creating an adjective. Then, as we go up, we add our prefix un, creating unlockable, an adjective. This means not able to be locked. We can tell because this un is negating the whole adjective lockable. On the right, we have a tree for the other meaning. The word still comes out as unlockable, but the meaning is different. We start with our verb lock and we add our prefix un first, creating a verb, unlock. We then add the suffix able to create an adjective. Since able is added to the whole verb unlock, this means able to be unlocked, while this means unable to be locked or not lockable. So while the words are the same, the tree structures are different. This explains the difference in meaning. Next, let's consider the word dependent. This word has two possible parts of speech. It can be an adjective, I am dependent on my friends, or it can be a noun. Having dependence will change your tax situation. There are two possible explanations for this. Either the suffix ENT that we have here can turn words into either adjectives or nouns, depending on what you want. Or solution two, ENT is an adjective ending that can be turned into a noun through a hidden empty morpheme or word. Let's look at some trees to see what I mean by that. Here on the left is a tree for the adjective dependent. We start with our prefix D and our verb root pend to get a verb depend. We then add our suffix ent to get the adjective dependent. So far, so good. This is what we've done so far. To turn this into a noun though, we're gonna take our adjective dependent and we're gonna add this. This is not pronounced, but it turns the word into a noun. Dependent can be both an adjective or a noun, but with different structures. Now, you may be thinking, if this is not pronounced, then what evidence do we have for these different structures? Well, let's think about this tree here on the right. We can create a plural noun, dependence. So we can take our noun, dependent, and add a suffix of s. A noun plus the suffix s makes a plural noun. We have a lot of examples in English of adjectives being used as nouns in this way. The good, the bad, the ugly. Good, bad, and ugly are all adjectives, but here they're being used as nouns. These are called substantive adjectives. They effectively take the place of a noun because the noun is empty. We can also see this in loan words from other languages. Generally, you think of the word ingredient or ingredients as a noun. In Latin, however, the language that it comes from, it's an adjective, meaning stepping in or entering. In other words, ingredients are the things that you have step into your recipe. 
So we take an adjective and we convert it to a noun. In each of these cases, we have to start with an adjective and then go to a noun. Generally, we don't go the other way. So for that reason, we tend to prefer solution number two with this empty morpheme that takes an adjective and turns it into a noun. 